So the next person we're going to welcome up is Hannah Giddings. Give it up, give it up. Woo! hard to find the exact words to say in this type of situation. I don't think that any of us who were directly involved in what happened last year on the 25th are really that surprised. Uh, we know that this system is a failure. Uh, we know that this system doesn't serve people like us or really anybody who is not directly involved in the system. I think the question that most of us are feeling right now is what can we do next? It's clear that <clears throat> most of the people that have been in that courtroom or standing outside of that courthouse every single damn day are the type of people who are action driven and we want to know what we can do next. For me personally, I am especially not surprised at the outcome of this verdict um, for Anthony Huber, the love of my life. He had been fucked by this system in every single way, from his birth to his death. And all that we can do now is keep moving, keep jumping into action. We need to stand together. This, I want to be specific that this violence that they're, you know, using as a fear-mongering tactic to keep the general public afraid of us and what we're doing, uh, we don't need that. We don't need the violence at all. All we need to do is keep standing and keep being loud and keep calling them out on their fuckery. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 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 I miss Anthony every single day. Every day I wish that I could come home to him and unload some of this weight that's on my shoulders. But I can't because he's dead. And now this system is telling me that nobody needs to answer for that. And I have a problem with that. I think I've been very open in expressing my empathy for the other side of this, but that's just not reciprocated back. We need to focus on what's most hurtful here to these people, myself included, which is the loss of life and the sanctity of life. I am not pro-violence or pro-destruction at all. But life is more important than any of that. Come on, come on. <clears throat> I just want the city of Kenosha to understand, KPD to understand, that nobody here is ever going to stop. Come on. Nobody here is ever going to stop attempting to expose the flaws in this system. <clears throat> I am, like I said, not surprised at what happened here today, but I am heartbroken. But what we need to also focus on too is the look at all these people around us right now. I, I mean, it's a lot of media, but look at all these people around us right now. Look at all these people that have been showing up every day, yeah. you know, all, online across the world yeah. with the support. We're more than them. We're bigger than them. That's right. No more division between us. Focus on the common goal here and get something done because I will not rest. We will not rest, exactly. We will not, we will rest. not rest. We will not rest. There are so many names. The name that's most close to my heart is Anthony Huber, but there are so many names 
of people's families, people's loved ones. And that's what drives us to keep going. Just hold on to that. Yep. And let them know that nobody's going anywhere. Hannah, Thank you, you so much. Can you have Hannah spell her first and last name? Hannah, how are you spelling your name up? H-A-N-N-A-H-G-I-T-T-I-N-G-S. I hope you really understand why we're not taking questions for the young ladies. It's just merely an opp opportunity for them to express themselves. For those who are around here, no justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Who's our next speaker?